Hey guys, how is it going? It's Tom from Photorix here. I'm um, just doing a quick check-in video because I haven't really done any uh, photography videos for a while now. I've been really busy with all sorts of boring normal life stuff, broken cars and the like. So I really haven't had time to uh, do much. Um, but I'm going to start trying to make some more videos for you. Um, I've just hit just over 400 subscribers now on YouTube which is amazing. I never expected to get that many so quickly. I've only been doing this since um, about July last year. So I want to thank you all for subscribing and for all your comments. Um, I get loads of emails um, every week saying that I've helped out in some way, which is really cool. So thank you guys. Um, okay, I've got loads of videos that I want to make in the next few weeks. Um, since my last videos I've got quite a lot of new equipment and different stuff so I'm going to do some videos uh, for you uh, one of the main ones that I want to do is on this uh, Sigma macro lens uh, this is the 100 <coughs> excuse me 150mm f2.8 macro um, so I want to do a quick review on that lens for you and as well as that I want to try and actually do sort of a dedicated macro video and um, sort of talking about what macro is and how to shoot it, sort of budget options um, not everyone can afford a dedicated macro lens there's a lot of other options out there for you and um, so I'll try and get to that and um, I want to do a review of my GF1 which is a bit muddy at the moment because I took it out yesterday um, took my dog for a walk and I had to lift him over a gate and he sort of got mud everywhere um, this is now my sort of go-to camera when I just go out for a walk or whatever. Um, I don't carry the D700 around or the D3100 around. I take that with me. It's a really great little camera, so I want to do a review on that. Uh, I'll do a review on the lens as well, the 14mm f2.5 lens. And I've also got the 20mm um f1.7 lens for that as well really really good little lens um, so I'll do a review on that for you um, sort of related to photography I've got my GoPro Hero 2 uh, I've been using this to do loads of videos in my car and my Land Rover so I might do a video on that and I've also got the LCD um, backpack screen for that so that might be another video to look out for uh, when the weather improves, because we've got really strange rubbish weather here again in the UK, sort of mix of snow and rain and wind and cold, horrible. Um, I did a video about the soft um, ND grads that I've got from Lee, but my wife actually bought me the um, hard versions as well for Christmas. Um, so I want to get out in the field and show you um, the differences in these and the soft and the hard and how to use the hard and the uh, different effects that they have on pictures so I'll get out somewhere and do that at some point um, also uh, hopefully tomorrow uh, there's a big announcement from Nikon about the D800 we suspect um, so I might do a video tomorrow when that's announced and um, there's some wild rumors flying around about it about the specs of it sort of people talking about 36 megapixel sensor and all this sort of thing which um, I'm not looking forward to if that's the reality of it but if they do release that tomorrow then I shall do a quick video sort of my thoughts on that um, that kind of leads me on to the next one as well um, in March on the 4th to the 7th of March here in the UK is the focus on imaging uh, event in Birmingham that's like the big major event in the UK for the uh, camera manufacturers and all sorts of other photography related stuff they all get together in the uh, National Indoor Arena and display all their latest equipment and sort of upcoming stuff so if Nikon do release the D800 hopefully it will be there so I can actually get hands on with it as well as the D4 which will be there so I want to try and do some videos from there I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it yet because I don't have anyone to help me out with it and it's hard filming yourself um, on your own in a big event like that but I'll see if I can uh, figure something out I'll get some shots from there or something 
Um, so that'd be good. Hopefully, we'll get a hands-on with the D800 if it arrives in the D4, and anything else as well there that looks interesting from other makes. And I did. I've had a load of requests to do videos on lenses in general, like sort of different types of lenses and what you use them for, and like what the numbers mean on them. I did actually record a really long video on it, and I watched it back, and I was just rambling and didn't make any sense, so um, I deleted it, and um, I'll script something out and do it properly. I never script out my videos, as you can probably guess, I just ramble, and um, yeah, it just went on too long. So I'll figure something out for that, and do a proper kind of um, basics lens video thing. Um, there's probably a load of other stuff as well. I know people keep asking me for videos on white balance, so I really must get around to that. Um, the trouble is I don't I tend to use auto white balance and change it in raw afterwards, so I've got to um, try and find a situation where I can sort of demonstrate the different white balances. Um, I think that's probably about it to be honest. Um, I don't have any more equipment at the moment. All my money is going on my car, I'm having a nightmare with it. Um, so photography related purchases have kind of taken a back seat at the moment so yeah macro panasonic gopro lee lenses focus on imaging and new nikon stuff and whatever else is at focus on imaging look out for the videos coming soon as i said at the start thank you so much everyone for subscribing thank you for the comments uh, i get loads of really good uh, emails which is really nice um, so yeah, keep it all going. Keep an eye out uh, on my channel for the new videos. Thanks very much.